So this has to be close to the cushion, the cue ball, not to leave the red on by the black, and that's okay. Close enough to the cushion. There may not be a red on, but that cue ball should be closer from an easy safety like Matt just had. Now, a little bit of danger here. If he plays this red. He's got to play it with left hand side to avoid the reds. Caught it a little bit too thin. That cue ball is coming back down. And the black will go to the right corner. Not sure if he's got the angle to hold for the black. We'll soon find out. He has. So Trump's in again. And we know he's queuing. One. Good long pot that to hold it perfectly for the black. Oh, he'd like to finish straight on the black here so he can get to that red Eight. just behind the black. That clears the way for both pockets in. Nine. I don't think it's quite straight enough. Yep, he is. This is his 18th ranking final in a sequence that began at 16. the Northern Ireland Open in 2018. So 35th in total, but 18th in a row since 17. then. And that was the start of... Well, he's already a top player, but that was the start of Trump as a winning machine. And that's why I suppose it's a surprise he hasn't won a ranking event this season because we were just so used to him winning tournament after tournament but of course he's not that easy it's been a year now since he won in Gibraltar but if he could win tonight then it puts him in a very strong position with the world championship coming up mentally 25 yep the confidence could come flooding back but he's going to win this one first and Matt Selt's going to have something to say about that at some stage but in that run, so 17 before this one, he's only lost three. So that tells you a lot. Of course, the most recent was last weekend. Won the other 14. Four reds, four blacks. 32. He's had five maximums, Judd Trump. And he'll want to start climbing more maximums to get closer to John Higgins and Ronnie O'Sullivan. John's had 12, I believe. Four. Forty-one. Trying to nudge another red out there, stay on the black. Once he gets his confidence, Trump, he's nearly unstoppable. Yeah, and that's what he's been lacking a little bit of this season. But his resilience has been second to none last couple of weeks, battling through rounds when 49. his dazzling best hasn't been present. And the danger always is that his dazzling best is lurking there in the background, ready to come out. Maybe this is the night. Well, the red above the black and to the right... So the middle of those three reds. If he could get a cannon on to that red, fairly full, he'd be on the red to the left corner or the right. Well, not ideally on the red. Fifty. Can he get back to the black? He caught the other red first. He 
can. So it's still on. Of course, the frame, all important. But he's looking good. He's looking very good. 64 the lead. 64. Sixty-five. Well, this really would be something special, wouldn't it? Here in our first year in Turkey in the final, if Judge Trump made a maximum. Yeah, with the packed house. Can he do it? They're saying. <laughs> Seventy-two. Uh, this red for the frame safe. Seventy-two. Not actually had one. A maximum that is on the tour since November. Gary Wilson at the UK Championship. Well, again, if he wanted to, he could play the cannon to the pink. He's going to have to disturb those three balls at some stage. And he's played it beautifully. <laughs> Terrific cannon because it wasn't a full ball kiss Thank that. You. Matt Selt knows the frame has gone. Craig Stedman has the high break, which stretches back to round one, one four five. But this would be something truly special. Yeah, there's been four breaks over one forty in this tournament. Eighty eight. Tells you how high the standard is. Maybe making contact with the other red, which isn't too bad if he can catch it fairly thin. Might have to pinch a bit on the pocket. Yep, well played. Nice angle like on the black here. Doesn't want to be straight. Like and that looks pretty good. Just drop it in. It's got the red to the middle. <laughs> now comes the, the hard one. One hundred and four. There's a century. One hundred and five. Now drop in behind it. I'll try and move it. Try to move it. Uh, not ideal, but possible. Well, I think every one four seven is always. A shot like this, isn't there, that basically determines it. Everyone here willing him on. Get in, get in. It's there. It's there. <laughs> Look at the crowd, they're going wild. Oh, oh, it's on. This is on. Seven balls to go for a piece of history here in Turkey. 120. <laughs> 122. <laughs> 125. Just past the 40-year anniversary of Steve Davis making the First official maximum. The idea then of a ranking event in Turkey would have seemed far-fetched. 129. But here we are, Judd Trump, the talisman of the current generation. Three balls to go. One hundred and thirty-four. Just a little short. It's a 
played. Well, this is a moment no one here will forget. Judd Trump, this black for a maximum. Simply brilliant. They're on their feet for Judd Trump. He makes a 147 break in the first ever Turkish Masters final. That is what you call star quality. And most important of all, he leads the final 7 3. Hi, I'm Ronnie O'Sullivan, and welcome to Eurosport Snooker on YouTube. Click here to subscribe to Eurosport Snooker.